Hi friends, good evening and welcome to my channel Mukambiga Nursing. Friends, here in this video we can see the next set of questions for exam preparation. In the previous video that is yesterday's video we discussed expected questions and its answers. That is video number 4. Here again we can see the continuation of that questions. Another set of questions we can see and the question one by one first question a client has been discharged to home on parental nutrition with each visit a home care nurse asks which of the following parameters most closely in monitoring this therapy and there are options option a pulse and weight option b temperature and weight option c pulse and blood pressure option d temperature and blood pressure the question is a client has been discharged from the hospital by parental nutrition. Okay. Client is discharged to home by parental nutrition and a home care nurse is frequently visiting this client. So, among the option, which parameter she should monitor closely for this therapy? For this therapy means for the parental nutrition. That is the question. Parental nutrition means administration of nutritionally complete formula through a central or peripheral venous catheter that is parental nutrition okay so the client is receiving parental nutrition at home should be monitored temperature first why temperature if any variation the temperature that indicate infection temperature is high that indicate if fever means it indicate infection so in order to determine that they should monitor temperature first and also they should monitor client weight. Okay, why weight? Why they are monitoring weight means to understand the effectiveness of the nutritional therapy and also to detect hypovolemia. Okay, remaining option pulse and blood pressure all are important but typically for this parental nutrition home care nurse must monitor temperature and weight okay so option b is correct the next question a nurse is instructing a client with hypertension on the importance of choosing food low in sodium the nurse should teach the client to limit which of the following foods and our options option a apples option b bananas option c smoked sausage and option d steamed vegetables here question is a nurse is giving education to a hypertension patient on the importance of low sodium diet okay which among the following food items should limit by the patient that is the question. So, correct answer is option C, smoked sausages. Why means the smoked food items that have high sodium. So, they should avoid smoked sausages, remaining apples, banana and steamed vegetables that the patient can take. Okay, option C is the correct answer. Next question, normal serum phosphorus level is. And our options, option A 1.6 to 2.6 milligram per deciliter and option B 2.7 to 4.5 milligram per deciliter and option C 3 to 6 milligram per deciliter and option D 3.5 to 5.5 milligram per deciliter. The correct answer is option B 2.7 to 4.5 milligram per deciliter. Next question, which of the following is restricted for the patient preparing for pulmonary function test? And our options, option A, streptomycin, option B, vancomycin, option C, salbutamol and option D, atropine. So, question is, for a patient is preparing for pulmonary function test, for that patient, which among the, which one of the following medication is not given? Okay, so correct answer is, Option C, salbutamol is the correct answer. This salbutamol is a bronchodilator. This bronchodilator is not given during the time of fun pulmonary function test. So, it will affect the lungs and the lung volume will change. Okay, the ratio will change. So, 
we are not giving salbutamol for the patient during pulmonary function test option c is the correct answer on to next question how about the nodes are the characteristics of options are option a rheumatoid arthritis option b osteoarthritis option c gouty arthritis and option d none of this correct answer is option b osteoarthritis heber then snots are associated with osteoarthritis osteoarthritis means is progressive deterioration of the articular cartilage it occurs due to trauma aging obesity genetic changes and smoking or some risk factors of this osteoarthritis and this heber then snots or about our notes is one of the assessment finding of this osteoarthritis okay so option b is the correct answer move on to next question excision of part of the vertebrae that is lamina to remove the disc is known as and our options option a discectomy option b laminectomy option c laminotomy and option d none of this here correct answer is option b laminectomy so the question itself hint is there to remove the disc is known as removal of a part is known as ectomy okay so here laminectomy will come correct answer and option b option a option b option c that is discectomy laminectomy and laminotomy all the types of disc surgery this disc surgery is mainly performed when the spinal compression is suspected that is spinal cord compression or the client is not responding to the conservative management then they are doing this disc surgery in our question laminectomy laminectomy means excision of the part of vertebrae to remove the disc is known as laminectomy our question answer is option b the next question in a healthy adult which substance is not present in urine and our options option a urea option b sodium option c chloride and option d amino acid and the correct answer is option d amino acid is not present in urine in a healthy adult option d move on to next question which of the following is not an accepted method of collecting sputum from patient and our options option a sterile suctioning option b direct spit out method option c trans tracheal aspiration and option d gastric lavage so here correct answer is option d gastric lavage is not an accepted method for collecting the sputum from the patient remaining sterile suctioning time we can collect a specimen direct spit out method trans tracheal aspiration all are the method of collecting sputum but gastric lavage is not an accepted method of collecting sputum option d and the next question gold standard investigation for pulmonary embolism is for option a chest x ray option b pulmonary angiogram option c d dimer and option d echo gold standard investigation is for pulmonary angiogram option b is the correct answer pulmonary embolism embolism means formation of blood clot in the pulmonary artery so in order to find out that we are doing pulmonary angiogram here gold standard test is a blood test which is used to identify the blood clot this is usually a dye injected dye based test next question and also this is the last question first official anesthetic nurses and our options albert bandura option b sister mary bernard option c florence nightingale and option d none of this easily we can answer this question option b sister mary bernard is the first official anesthetic nurse this is one of the previous question okay previous aims exam this question has came first official anesthetic nurse sister mary bernard option b so study well for the exam 
do hard work